C-Store Secrets with John McMillan again in my car here, and I want to ask you, what is the ultimate customer service that you could provide to your customers? Ultimate. Like, if you did this, it would literally change your business. Do you know, what, what do you think that is? Think about that. Excuse me. Spend just a second thinking about that, and tell me what you think that is. Have you thought about it? What do you think? What's the number one ultimate thing you could do? Got any guesses? Let me give you an idea. So, in my opinion, the absolute number one thing that you could do in your business is focus completely on cleanliness. And I want to tell you that cleanliness doesn't just mean sweeping and mopping the floors and, and things of that nature. It's not just that simple. But what it does mean is that overall cleanliness and making sure that what you serve your customers is clean, what your customers use is clean, overall cleanliness will change the game for your business. Um, I would say on average, 70% of C-stores are failing at this. And I'm talking about independence. 70% are failing at it. And what it comes down to somewhat is laziness. And I know, trust me, I know, it's hard to find good labor these days. But if you really dig down into why is it hard to find good labor, it, what it will come back to even on that side is that you lack systems and processes to make your employees jobs easier to help them just go know what they need to do and go and when it comes to employees it, it's got to be easy and so if you don't have those systems that comes back to cleanliness if you don't have the system set up on what your employees should be doing when they should be doing it every single day and take out the guesswork there then yeah it's going to be tough because what happens there is you have that breakdown in communication, you have that breakdown in systems and processes, and then whenever it comes time for you to observe the store and see what's going on and your sales aren't where you want them, what do you do? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Why didn't you do this? I shouldn't have to tell you every time to do this, and I shouldn't have to tell you every time to do that. And you're right, you shouldn't. If you have set up a system or process that will allow your employees, who are you are paying hourly, to do those things without guesswork, without asking questions. So cleanliness sets up a habit within each individual employee and within your business of always taking care of the customer. And you as the owner, your mind frame has to be about the customer, about that service, about that friendliness, about that cleanliness, about those things. And when you can shift your mind and make it about those things in your own mind, then the next step is that you can make it about that same thing in your customer's mind. And when it becomes all about the customer, that's when you win. So how do you do it? The ultimate number one thing you can do for customer service is cleanliness. If you will focus on that day in and day out, every aspect of it, you can win more profit and grow your food service business. I was actually in a store last week. The guy was only doing two to $300 a day in Delhi, and I, I knew why. Walking around the store, I could see that there was a cleanliness issue here. And in looking around at that, I was able to immediately notice that the kitchen was a little nasty. So I'm looking at the hot case, and, and a lot of people I know wouldn't have bought any food in there. It was dirty enough, you would have been like, no, I'm not touching it. But for me, my curiosity, for me to share with you guys, so I'm tasting bad food sometimes just so I can share these stories with you guys. Um, you know, I, I, I asked for a, a sample of just a couple of pieces of things. They knew who I was, they knew why I was there. And when I tasted that food, I immediately, immediately tasted dirty oil in that food. The quality of product that you put out has to be on point and it's all going to come back to cleanliness and when you focus on that cleanliness and that customer service and you set up 
those positive reinforcing um, systems and processes within your sea store, then what you're able to do is you're able to take it to the next level. So if you want to take your food service and your sea store business to the next level, you got to focus on cleanliness. It's the ultimate game changer in your business. So hopefully this helped you. If you got any questions, as always, read the description, check out the links, reach out to me. I'd love to connect with you. would love to help you any way that I can. And if I'm, you're close enough, I would even love to give you an evaluation of your sea store to show you what you can do to grow your business. So if you do want to work with me, if you do want to to be connected to me so that I can help you grow your business. Uh, you can go to cstoresecretsbook.com, get a copy of the book, and add the lifetime membership. If you join that lifetime membership, you'll join um, my private group to where you can ask any question one-on-one -on -one and I will get you an answer. And if I don't have the answer right away, I'll go find the answer. That's what I want to do for C Store owners. I want to help you guys, excuse me, I want to help you guys grow your business. I want to help you grow your profit, grow your customer base. And I want to help, it make, help you make your life easier by having systems and processes so that your employees not only know what to do, but makes their life easier so they stay with you. Have a good day, and I'll see you on the next video.